Hey guys, it's Green Zero here bringing you another Command & Conquer 3 Kang's Wrath video commentary and that's right, 499. This is video number 499, so you know what's going to happen next. You know what is coming up next. It's the big one. It's it's just a massive achievement and I can't wait to show you the video I've made. There's going to be things you've never seen before. It's going to be one of the best or it is simply going to be the best video I've ever made and it's going to put all those other videos that I made uh, with special effects and stuff to complete shame and I, I really can't, I cannot wait to, to release this video but we have to get through 499 first so we're going to jump into this game and it should be really good because look at the players, look at the players, we have Smoke and Tiberium which is Cyberstorm teaming up with Death Sentence, that's right, the Death Penguin himself against Spectre and uh, Panic who we haven't seen for a while, they a little bit sporadic these guys but uh, they are teaming as well so we're gonna jump into this game we're on unsound investment yep it's gonna be unsound but hopefully it's gonna be a good game this map very heavily played throughout history death sentence will be starting in the top north side here of unsound and uh, it is a random uh, it's all random so no one's picked their side so death pants has been given steel talons for death pants which means cyber cloud over here it's gonna be he's gonna be Travra Travra and steel talons that could be pretty deadly because Steel Talon's most heavily armoured faction in the game versus the mind control madness of Travra. And if we jump over here, they're already fighting for spikes. It looks like uh, Death Sentence actually going for the spike here. And he, he, doesn't, get the, he doesn't get the structure. So, um, by the way, this is Spectre here. Spectre has dealt... Uh, he's dealt GDI Vanilla, and this isn't going to work. Death Sentence is in a world of pain. Oh, he gets, he gets it up. He gets the, the Fox up, but the, the squad is almost dead. The squad is almost dead, and he can just run straight past it. doesn't have the firepower. So Spectre, and he will secure that. So Spectre playing as GDI Vanilla on the bottom right-hand side, and that can mean Spectre is playing as Mock because I saw an Awakened squad up there. Let's confirm that. Yes, yes, it is an Awakened squad. Uh, Disintegrator is coming through here for Cyberstorm. So Cyberstorm is going to secure this front spike. And I believe he is going to secure both the back spikes. So Death Sentence did miss out here. He missed out. He lost his engineer. Didn't capture anything. It's not going to be terribly bad for him. But uh, there's still going to be a nice edge here. And Cyberstorm. Uh, sorry, not Cyberstorm. Uh, I should know. There's Cyberstorm coming in. Uh, both Spectre and, um, and uh, what do you call it? Panic. Oh, I've forgotten his name. Did I call this guy Spectre as well? I called Panic Spectre before. Probably... I should have double checked the colors, but uh, unfortunately Cyberstorm isn't going to achieve too much with these guys here, especially against Stealth Harvesters. The Harvesters can literally just run out the way. Um, he's going to try to crash into it, and he will probably find it there, but I don't think he has the DPS now to destroy it. And it, it gets really nasty when you have to try to run through to try to detect them, and he's just going to crush the rest of them, because why the hell not? So Panic is going to be fine. Battle Mark is raging. It is just scouts shooting at each other here. It's green versus a uh, Cyan, so... That could be a little bit tricky. Steel Talon Forces versus Spectre's GDR here. He's moved to his expansion. Death Sentence has not. He's actually going for Orc as well. That's a fast airfield. He's obviously sold his uh, command centers. He realized maybe because he lost his engineers, like, screw it, I'm just going to go for fast Orcas. And that, that way, if he can snipe three harvesters straight away, that would be very nice from indeed. Because Spectre is just eco booming here. He's not expecting any type of counterattack. Oh, but look at this. Panic sees it, he sees it, and he's forced to launch these orcs. He's actually going to have to go after the raider buggy, so that's going to waste ammunition that could be used on harvesters, and he will destroy it and have to come back. So that's going to buy Spectre an incredibly large amount of time here. Only two harvesters for Death Sentence, so he's not doing too well, and neither is Cyberstorm. Cyberstorm lost his disintegrators. He didn't achieve anything with them, so he's trying to eco behind it. His eco is much more healthier than uh, what Death Sentences is. But Panic, on the other hand, he doesn't say, oh no, he's got four, four, he's got, no, only four harvesters, so... He has been building a few bike buggy. He's just a little bit wary, perhaps, of more disintegrators here. The Orcas are actually going to go down to his base. Oh, no, they're going to use the terrain here, which is very strategical. Uh, completely inaccessible by ground units here, so the Orcas are incredibly safe. Uh, but I think Spectre, just by chance, there's no harvesters over here, but he is just going to simply fly over here. And this is really surprising. Spectre, and look at this, he's targeting harvesters, which are full of Tiberium, which is really good because that's Tiberium that, I mean, it doesn't drop $1,500 worth of Tiberium. It drops like 100 bucks worth of Tiberium, so that's not only destroying harvesters, but denying a lot of Tiberium to Spectre who surprisingly didn't build any double A. Why didn't he build any double A? Uh, Panic spotted those for him well in advance, but that's that's really unusual. He's still not building any double A. 
Meanwhile, Panic is going for the blue Tiberium field. Cyber has not made a move for it, but there's Disintegrator the Squads coming in here. Oh my god, what is Spectre doing? Why isn't he building any combat units here? He's got these guys in his base now. He's probably going to lose another Harvester for sure. He's got no turret queued at all. He is going to lose a Harvester. Tries to move out the dock. He's actually going to lose a second Harvester. There's still no response. He does go for the Crush, but that really weakens that Harvester. Wow, three Harvesters get destroyed. Yeah, there we go. Third Harvester. Whoa, Spectre is fully caking this right now. Losing three harvesters to orcas he knew about a, a full minute in advance and then losing to disintegrators with no base structures good He's just not building any combat units. Here. He's getting he's way too greedy. He should know he should know better than this and Now he's getting struck again. He's gonna lose another harvester. That's harvester number seven Harvester number eight is gonna go down. Does he have enough? No, he lost one of his orcas He shouldn't have enough rounds to destroy this last one, but he lost eight harvesters in just a in just a, a 60 second period that was devastating and the disintegrator squads from cyber are coming in now they're coming into panic space and he has some power issues but he is putting this down spectre actually just trying to help his ally here if he loses that power plant no he does he's power micring so he's gonna be okay but there are a lot of units here they should be able to clean it up but the disintegrator squad still causing just a few issues there's a battle marker up here bikes are moving through they're gonna find the orcs on the deck they're gonna be history there's no point watching those because they are gonna die but he does move through the base head here and he might actually get a harvester oh my god he's gonna get oh, oh he gets a harvester there we go so he manages to pop that one this one's really tight here meanwhile death sentence has he recovered his economy somewhere? He has got a decent amount of harvest. He's got five and two there. Does he have an expansion? Yes, he does. He's actually got three harvesters on the expansion, so he could pretty hard behind that. So Spectre, unfortunately, a Panic's probably shaking his fist at him right now, and I'm giving him a bit of a bad rap because really, as a professional player, he should be uh, way, way, way better than that. Um, but he just needs to... He's actually got some pit bulls over here as well, so he is helping uh, Panic. Uh, to snipe down at least one harvest. So that could actually be the second harvest because there were three harvests here a moment ago and now there's just one. So he, he might have already destroyed one in advance. So if, he, if, if that's right, then he just took out three death sentence harvesters. So uh, that was a very nice poke considering there's only a couple of bikes and pit bulls there. Uh, battle markers raging in here. Just, oh, look at this. Cyberstorm once again comes through the front door. Battle markers over here. No, it's nothing serious. Actually, disintegrated squads over here as well. We've got disintegrators everywhere. He's running through this base head area. He's going to go for the crush, but unfortunately, there's just not enough. There's too many disintegrators. Three harvesters completely destroyed. That's not good at all. Battle markers over here as well. We've got battle markers up there, but I believe it's just scouts. Yes, it is just scouts facing off. There is so much shooting going on here. He actually snares an APC just before losing his last disintegrator squad as well. A few people was being recalled back to base. Battle markers up here as well. It's just a one singular bike running through. Just having a look right can't really achieve too much. He does hold that garrison, which is pretty bad because that garrison with three rifle would be really great to defend against all these incinerators that are coming at him. Spectre unfortunately gives a move order. He does correct that now, so they are an attack on order, attacking order, but he doesn't have AP ammo. So the disintegrator squads are just going to move straight through and destroy everything that is here. Uh, that bike is going to go down as well. Still having trouble cleaning up the rifle the squads. They're really pesky to get rid of for the disintegrators. They have to put a decent amount of firepower and individually target those ones here. The battle marker is still raging across here. Look at all the disintegrators coming through. Meanwhile, oh, a harvester goes down to a crush of this Titan here, and now Spectre moves. Moving it back, he shouldn't lose any more. I wouldn't imagine he lose any more here, but it looks like here, uh, Cyberstorm has pulled back that uh, Titan will go down. Spectre resumes harvesting here. What's happening out there? Spectre is taking the blue Tiberium. Death Sense unfortunately gets about half a half a load, which is okay. It's not too bad. Uh, phasing his harvester here, he does secure blue Tiberium, but Panic has also been stealing blue Tiberium as well. That harvester should be able to escape, no worries, with the help of that phase field. Battle markers over here again. No, it's just that bunker still being claimed by Cyberstorm, who, by the way, holds three spike and has been holding that the whole game. So uh, he's looking pretty good. He's got his tech center down now, so the really nasty late game trap unit's going to be coming out. Uh, he's got a lot of disintegrators. He's got a lot of disintegrators there, doesn't he? And these buggies have got no chance of stopping that. The thing is, the buggies are accounted to them, but the thing is that the, the um, disintegrators can just push them away because they just, as soon as they're in range, the buggies, the buggies will be destroyed. Oh, there's a big attack happening over here. I didn't even spot this. I didn't think it was that big a deal. I thought it was scouts, but no, it looks like more harvesters are going down. There's hammerheads here from Spectre. And those harvests is now getting dropped. There's a few pit bulls still here. There's actually no double A, but the hammerheads are leaving. Uh, they really could, I guess he feels he doesn't need to, to stick around. He doesn't get the harvest down. I think he's bringing them over here because, oh, Tib Troop is getting a lot of kills there, but I think a refinery actually got destroyed there. Dead harvesters as well, so a lot of damage being done. Uh, bikes over here. Orcas are back up somewhere. I'm not sure where they are, but Death Sentence expansion. No harvesters. See you later, buddy. That harvester unfortunately goes back for blue tip, will probably die. We have some hammerheads over here as well. I'm not sure where the orcas are. They might actually just be destroying uh, Spectre's harvesters. I'd imagine they'll be out and about somewhere. Prodigy is there. He's going to want to be careful. Oh my god, he just gifted his prodigy to these hammerheads. That's not very good at all there from Cyberstorm. Where are the orcas, by the way? They're actually back at home, so they must have struck something. There is a slingshot here, so this slingshot's going to be like, hey, you've got uh, hammerheads coming at me, though. 
the slingshot or this one slingshot. There's actually a lot of hammer hits here. He could, yeah, he's just gonna lift off the deck. Uh, he might need a little bit more uh, slingshot power. Actually targets down the uh, the damaged hammerhead. Not sure if that was intentional, but good micro here is keeping the slingshots with the hammerheads because they move about the same speed. So if you can keep them in range, they tend to stay in range, escaping now to the backside there. Uh, a warp chasm doesn't go down. Something took a big swing at it though, didn't it? So oh, Orc is now absolutely wrecking Spectre's harvesters. He is refusing to put up any type of double A defense. He doesn't have firehawks, so. I'm not 100% sure what was damaging. Uh, he's actually repaired it anyway. It could have been some type of support power, maybe a vapor bomb of some kind, but he doesn't seem to have a doesn't seem to have a, uh, a catalyst plant unless he sold it. Yeah, not sure what did so much damage to that uh, warp chasm. Could have been hammerheads maybe, and they just backed out. But uh, nonetheless, the hexapod is out. Putting disintegrators in that as well. Uh, Death sentence though in a world of pain right now. Putting up double A defenses because he's really. And he's still actually got Tiberium on this main field. He hasn't been able to harvest at all because he's been harassed so much. But Spectre, on the other hand, has lost about 20 freaking harvesters this game. I don't know what he's doing. Not sure what those oxes were for. I think they were landing Bloodhounds. Slingshots come in as well with these pit bulls, and they will pick off a few of these guys here. Even the Orcas are just fighting the ground units here. Sporadic combat here now, but it looks like Spectre doesn't have enough to actually uh, push these guys back and the, and the slingshots now moving through just taking care of all these hammerheads hammerheads do not like slingshots by the way at all they're really a hard counter to the the hammerhead uh, harassment just because they have a very direct fire and they can really shoo them away uh, meanwhile there is a prodigy which is mind controlling something oh he's wormhole and he's taken spectre's mcv so this is getting nasty now and spectre is under siege he's losing his refineries now actually captured a power plant with the sold off engineer not sure what he's going to do. He really doesn't have much in the way of anything left. This is his only war factory, so if this falls, uh, that's going to be the end of it for Spectre. He'll have no build. I mean, he can put down an air... He's got an airfield, but they're just getting camped by these slingshots. There's a storm column here by Cyberstorm as well. Panic they can't do anything because there's no build radius for him. He can only build on his allies' MCV, which is now gone. And as soon as this falls, if this is an MCV, he needs it to get out. No, it will be destroyed just before it gets out. I'm not even sure if it was an MCV. It could have just been another Juggernaut. But uh, nonetheless, and now he can't actually build it. He's got two pitbulls here to try to finish off these slingshots. And uh, he's actually still losing his harvesters. He's only got one harvester left. Is that his, uh, he's got a few harvesters down here. But uh, he does manage to take out that slingshot, unfortunately. And now he's going to call in these... Uh, is that sniper teams? It looks... It is. He's calling in sniper. I guess he's got lots of money, but that's all he can do. But he lost one to the storm column, unfortunately. Battle mark is raging over here. Looks like it's Vertigo Bombers, but they're stuck in the temporal. Can they re-stealth? I don't think they can re-stealth in time. They are outside of range here, so they should be able to get away. They will get away. That's very lucky, but the uh, Redeemer, unfortunately, is so badly damaged. EMP comes down, and that's going to be the end of the Redeemer. He's going to lose that. It will go down. And uh, Spectre has a few... Uh, Surprised he's got a few of these. Has he got a war factory over here? No, he's got a barrack. So he's actually building zone troopers here now. So uh, there you go. That's interesting. I mean, if he, I can't actually even get upgrades because he doesn't have an armory. So that's that's pretty bad. I guess he feels it's probably the best option for him, which really is the best way to go. He does lose the. Uh, he does get the EMP down. The uh, what do you call it? The air tower gets just uh, does get destroyed. These vertigo bombers. I'm not sure where they're going. They're heading off somewhere. There's hammerheads here still by Spectre. Battle markers over here. There's a stealth tank coming in. It's harassing. Just a singular stealth tank is harassing Death Sentence backline. The Orcas here trying to find it, but I think it will reveal itself as soon as it fires on this one. Yes, it will go down. Um, and uh, the hexapod actually. Oh, he gets the phase off. He gets the phase. So that's nice. He should be. Uh, he should be fine. Panic now. It's going to be up to him to really help or oh, carry Spectre in this fight. These uh, these sniper teams should just go try to find the prodigy because they're stealth and they can. Almost one shot him. Death Sentence trying to reorganize. He's lost a lot of harvests. There's a singular harvester there. There's a few more over here. He's getting some behemoths. Spectre's base is pretty hollow right now. He's got a few harvesters here, but they're not actually doing anything. Oh my god, he needs to get those to work right now. That's his only source of income. Now, this one juggernaut is actually pushing. Oh, he's got zone heads as well. He's using these zone heads, and it looks like Death Sentence just got way too greedy there. Lost his MCV. That is not good at all. Meanwhile, Battle Markets over here know these Vertigo Bombers will find a place to land. But Panic's economy is not looking too healthy either. So, wow, this game here, we're getting so messy. Now Death Sense is losing Harvesters. He's losing Harvesters. He's going to lose the remainder of these. His uh, zone heads are coming in as well. Death Sentence is broken. He's broken. He's got no defense against this. He's going to need Cyberstorm to drop him something really quick. Oh, he can't drop him because he doesn't have an MCV. He gifted it to the other team. And this is not good. Death Sense is going to lose most of his base head here. He's got Orcas coming in. He's going to have to fight these bikes with them, which they will one-shot them, but of course the bikes will do the same in return, and it's not a cost-effective trade. He actually gets all the bikes. He's only going to lose one Orca. Wow, he lost one Orca. That was amazing. That was uh, a, lot, a lot of luck there. Uh, but uh, unfortunately, he should just start selling these structures that he's going to lose for the money. And look at that. He's just going to destroy these guys on the deck, and the ranks are real. 
There's not a lot he can do about that. Battle markers over here as well. Cyberstorm is pushing in. He needs to kill Panic right now if he wants a chance here at win this game because his ally Death Sentence is falling to pieces over there. Uh, not choosing to sell his structures. He's not even power microing. Does he have any power plants? No, he doesn't have any power plants. So power microing is pretty minimal at right now. But uh, we have uh, Panic coming in. Uh, sorry, not Panic. We've got Cyberstorm coming in. And Panic's like, uh-oh, we are in a bit of trouble here. Beaconing over here, the Prodigy. He knows where the Prodigy is for some reason. Maybe a scan came down. Not 100% sure. Yeah, the Vertigo Bombers are coming back to base. And I'm not sure what they're doing. They're trying to bomb. They could have just bombed the, uh, the tripods there. The Zone Trooper uh, Hammerheads are just causing a lot of problems right now. Teleports over here. He's going to find this one Juggernaut that's going to buy uh, Panic a bit of time while these units retreat. And these... Oh, did he try to teleport that? It looked like it glitched out a little bit there. I think he might have teleported too fast and it didn't work. If you do it like ridiculously quick, it doesn't work. Um, but uh, yeah, Spectre's still managing to hold on here. He did land his, uh, his units. Did he surrender? No, he actually put sniper teams into the Hammerheads there. So... That's going to be a deadly mix. He's got more hammerheads over here, so he's got zone heads. And unfortunately, the, the hexapod doesn't actually have any double A at all, so he's in a little bit of trouble here. Spectre's base is pretty hollow. Those harvesters are working, though, uh, looking to construct more of these hammerheads. Teleports the uh, hexapod away. Does snipe both the husks, which is important. But I don't know what's going to happen here. Did Death Sentence recover? He seems to have a, uh, a behemoth here. But he doesn't have really... He's got no double A, so he can't defend against this. Uh, and look at this. Uh, Panic is just going to look for the Harvesters. And he's going to try to bomb those. He actually missed, so he should have waited until it docked. And now he's going to have to drop more bombs on it. He's still got one bomb remaining. He could just drop the whole refinery there. Uh, zone heads are coming in. They will just snipe this down. There's really nothing. He's got nothing. Uh, he needs a double A turret from his ally to come down right now. And uh, Panic is beaconing right now. He sees, oh, he actually takes the Storm Riders out on the deck. That hurts, so they're smashing some of those right off the deck. So, obviously, he's aware that these uh, Hammerheads are causing a lot of problems, but he does have Supercharged Particle Venom, so they should be able to cover Spectre's Hammerheads. He's got a Heroic one in this uh, Hammerhead over here now as well, and he's going to destroy this entire base hit area of Death Sentence. There is a Storm Column here, so that's going to be nasty. You're not going to want to go near that. Oh, he's, he's, playing it by, he's playing it fine. He does snipe another refiner here. If he comes around... He could just snipe the other refinery, but the Storm Riders are coming now. Does he see them? He does see them, but they're going for that hammer, and he might have to bail. He might have to bail the zone heads out, otherwise he's going to lose them. He's going to turn around and run. No, it doesn't matter. If he bailed out right right away, he could have saved them. See, look, he's going to save the other zone head squad, which is elite, which is uh, pretty good. Storm Riders won't be able to do anything against that, but the Hexapod is here. He takes out that pesky airfield. And he puts down the Sam turret as well, Plasma Missile Battery. And Spectre sells up the remainder of these buildings now. They're not very helpful to him. They're just going to be destroyed. And they will fuel the uh, veterancy of the Hexapod. He's going to get as much cash as he can out of these guys. This one Hammerhead just flying around. Not sure what he's going to be able to achieve. Uh, we got these Venoms coming in. Did the Zone Trooper squad survive? Yeah, the Zone Trooper squad is here. If you can get it to Heroic, I mean, it's got all four members. It has all four members. Wow, if you can somehow get that MCV, that would be amazing. But... Um, he needs to get, yeah, he needs to watch out for these guys here. These Venoms are going to take care of that. And, oh, not anymore, though. He's got to be real careful about this. He has to be very careful indeed. He's actually taking a little bit of damage, and he's got to watch out. He's actually under fire here. Oh, he loses one of the squad members. That's something he can't, and he just gets completely shredded then. Yeah, that was that was a big bit of an error there. He shouldn't have done that. So now Spectre really doesn't have a lot left in the way of anything, really. He's got a few harvesters. Raged and did go off, so it looks like the Redeemer is out again by panic. Things are getting really nasty right now. There's just not a lot in the way of resources left. Enlightened Squad's actually coming out, so not sure what he's planning to do with those. Is he getting the legs upgrade? Yeah, he is, but it's not done just yet. So I guess he feels they're going to be a pretty good option here, especially since they already have the charged particle upgrade. That's going to work in his favor. I guess he's worried about a, uh, a tripod EMPing him, and these uh, units will be very good against uh, tripods here. Uh, oh, the zone head's actually coming in behind. Is he going to... Oh, he's going to snipe down the... Oh, he's going to snipe down the tech center. Oh, it cancels that. It cancels it. He teleports the uh, the hexapod home, so he canceled the tripod. I, it would have had to be a bit of tripod. He needs to take out the nerve center, because the nerve center will mean he can't put double A down, but he does knock out the power. Uh, he's still got units here, and Spectre, he needs he needs some Venoms to rock up right now. If the Venoms rock up right now, he loses one of his own heads, which is unfortunate. He's going for Harvesters. I'm not sure if that's the best option right now. And there's actually a Disc Mecha here, and I think he's realized, because he can't replace these Hammerheads, nor can he repair them. He snipes down the Prodigy, though. That was a good snipe there. He snipes down the Prodigy. EMP Blast comes off. He, pu he pumps down these, uh, these reactors, but really he needs to be using it on the Hexapod here. 
that EMP lasting quite some time. Yeah, the Buzzer Swarm comes in and dispatches those, but he is going to be able to destroy a lot of these Corruptors. Very difficult for him to, re to replace or repair. Uh, we got some units over here. Spectre has tapped out of the game. So Spectre is out of the game. It's just panic fighting two enemies alone. However, De oh, he's actually going to lose his Redeemer here. There's not a lot he can do to save that. He's got no units at all coming. He's got one EMP ability over here, but that's not going to be enough. He's going to lose it there. Look at this Cyberstorm just blocking him now. He's going to block that. And Death Sentence, is he able to recover? He does have two Harvesters out, and he's got a Behemoth, and he's trying to re-expand. But, um, yeah, the rest of the map is pretty well empty here. A few Harvesters that are working for Panic right now. And he's just going to bring forward. He's got an Avatar. He's building some Enlightened squads as well. So he could even put the Enlightened in there. I'm pretty sure you can put Enlightened in Hamid, so maybe you can't. I'm not 100% sure. I'm pretty sure you can garrison them into those types of units there. There's a few few garrison types you can't actually use but I'm pretty sure you can uh, use that one. Elite Hexapod which is a bit of a problem. Cyberstorm really has nothing left except for that so um, Panic has got the opportunity. He's got the opportunity to do something here but he can't really leave it too long. If he leaves it too long he's going to be in trouble. These guys now sharing the blue Tiberium. So Panic definitely feels that he's, he's not quite out of it yet. This one behemoth with a Grenada squad in it is rocking up and it's going to be able to find this refinery and it's going to be able to destroy that refinery relatively quickly two shots a third shot might be able to finish it off and oh no it needs one more and that's going to be the end of that refinery no build radius no presence on the right hand side of the map for panic now bar a few harvesters this one hammerhead does have a zone trooper squad in it it could easily pick off this extremely vulnerable uh, what do you call it, Behemoth. There's actually a Plasma Missile Battery still there, so... Uh, oh, no, not quite. He's got a few Storm Riders to cover that one there, and he does have an Assimilator running down as well. Um, there is an Emissary coming out from Panic, so he wants to try to reclaim this, but I don't think it's going to happen. His Spikes run defended as well, so these Spikes will be claimed. Death Sentence, by the way, does hold this Spike. No Spikes have been destroyed. Oh, look at this, the Hexapod. Oh my god, did not see this. He's walked right into a death field and he snipes the elite Hexapod. This is actually critical um, because Cyberstorm doesn't have a text and he really doesn't have much money at all. He can't hold this attack. There's no way he can hold this attack. There's a Redeemer, an Avatar, and a ton of these Enlightened squads. This one mech... Oh my god. Oh, did he get a heroic... He got a heroic Enlightened squad. Look out. Look the hell out for that. That is going to be insane. He EMPs the missile... Uh, the plasma missile battery, but I don't know what for. There's not a lot of double A here, there's one Venom and a few rocket squads, but yeah, there's not a lot you can do. He's just going to be able to destroy all these units here, EMPing down the portal as well. If that's a Prodigy that's trying to come out, it's going to be cancelled, and it will... No, it's not a Prodigy because it's still building, unless he's got a second Texan, which I highly doubt. But uh, he is coming through here now, he's going to get rid of those units. This is pretty intense, you don't see Enlightens being used very often, but right now, Cyberstorm really doesn't have much in the way to stop them, does he? He doesn't have a lot, there's actually rocket squads here as well, left over from Spectre's barracks, and they are actually destroying all the Storm Riders. There's a couple of Gunwalkers over here, which I think he must have forgot about, because they're only just joining the battle right now. But uh, as you can see, the MCV is now here. Uh, the Redeemer and the Avatar is able to just destroy those. And he and the, the problem with the Buzzer Hives is, is that they just don't have enough health and they get focused down pretty quickly. These, uh, what do you call it, these Corruptors now being destroyed. A Rage Gen goes off as well. He might want to clear that out before he loses his heroic squad here of Enlightened. They take a fair bit of damage. I'm not sure. There's only one member left of that, so that's not something he can reclaim. So that is going to be destroyed. Battle Marker over here as well. Trying to defend out these Pit Bulls, which he will be able to defend. Cyberstorm is now on the run. Panic is doing it. He's pushing his way back in this game. He's got to watch out. There is uh, Coldest coming out. He needs it. He needs a, uh, what do you call it, one of those, yes, he gets one down, a Shredder Turret, and he's got Venoms, oh, these Cultists, I don't think are going to work, he doesn't have the power grid, and he doesn't have any, he's got double A turrets, but he can't power them, he's repowering them now, he's got to watch out, that Avatar could be claimed, but with the MCB here, he's actually got no money, he's stalling on money, so that's a bit of a problem for him, he does not have a lot of economy, yeah, he's got very minimal economy here, these Harvests are actually falling back, Death Sentence, has he gained, no, Death Sentence is trying to recover, he doesn't, he doesn't really have that much, does he? We'll keep an eye on this fight over here. Venom's getting somewhat chewed up, but he needs to get another Shredder Turret down and put it as far forward as possible. Uh, he's going to watch out for this Avatar. He does put it pretty far forward, and that's going to be the end of that Cultist squad. Uh, he will be able to gain that Avatar momentarily, but he should move his MCP a little bit more further forward uh, because he's now pushing uh, Cyberstorm off this base. He could get a Refinery down. There's a decent amount of Tiberium there, and he will be popping this base. That uh, Power Plant actually pretty important. Uh, this one Plasma Missile Battery able, able to swat these guys out of the sky, but no, there's not enough power anymore. Panic really can't afford to be wasting too much of his units here right now. He's got the Redeemer and this uh, Veteran Avatar. Cyberstorm will be falling back, but he doesn't have a lot. 
He's got his drone ship. He's going for a run. Uh, Death Sentence is isolated. He is, he's not very powerful, but he is isolated. And if he can get over here, Jesus, look at that. There's a lot. This game could keep going for quite some time. Hammerheads are coming out now. That Behemoth was dropped. And this one Venom will be able to take down a Hammerhead. But there's rockets in the other Hammerhead. And that Rocket Squad there will be able to knock that one out of the sky. There's actually no double A over here, which means... Uh, I mean, he should just sell off these turrets if he needs money. Because uh, he's in a lot of trouble. Does he not realize he's under attack here? He's going to be able to finish off most of Cyber's base. He does have a tier 2, which he had to replace by the looks of things. But he's losing his power grid now. His power grid is falling. He does put down... The plasma missile battery, not the plasma, sorry, the, the, um, what do you call it? Uh, the SAM site. It does have Tib Core. He will snipe one, but the other one will escape. He's going to come over here. He's got, uh, veteran rockets inside that as well. More hammerheads rocking up as well, but a lot of power problems here. Oh, he's not going to be able to get that. He should just power that back up and get the venom out, and he will get the venom out, and that should be enough to destroy the remainder of these forces here. He'll get that one for sure, and that's got a rocket squad in it. He will pop it. The other one's got a rocket squad in it as well, so he might actually be able to beat this Venom, depending on how this fight goes. Maybe if he can get one more shot out. No, he's not going to get one more shot out. Uh, veteran uh, ve veteran Venom. And look at this Cyberstorm trying to recover in this base. He has a single, no, two Coltus squads there. One of them is very badly damaged. But as you can see, with Venoms now coming out, he's probably just going to spam up a big bunch of these, and they'll be pretty, pretty horrible for him to deal with. Few uh, hammerheads over here, no rockets in them though. So this one venom which is responding will be able to take them out, and uh, he's going to move around, just try to cause as much damage as possible. The venom can easily outrun them, but he doesn't want to get lose that venom, I don't think, because uh, they're nine hundred dollars. They are somewhat expendable these units, but still, in this stage of the game where you don't have a lot of money, that's a bit of a problem. Now, Panic did succeed in getting over here and securing this area. That's that's very good for him. Uh, look at this, actually trying to steal these, uh, this base head over here. This is pretty vulnerable. The problem is, and Death Center still hasn't identified that he needs to move over here. And he's moving now, so he's left that pretty late. Um, sharing the spike, so Cyberstorm has, uh, four, does he have four, he's got four spikes, and he actually crushes that, uh, that avatar, which probably wasn't the best idea. And he's realized that now that this spike is not under his control, so he's going to be sending a, uh, a, an engineer there with fast legs. And he could very well just grab the other two as well, but he's got to watch out because there are Venoms here. And these Venoms now are trying to shoot down these Hammerheads. They will shoot some of them down. He's got, he's, well, he's got two veteran ones there, but he's walking into this double A area. He needs to be careful not lose those guys. He will... Oh my god, he just does, does lose it, so that's unfortunate. He needs to build up enough Venoms, I think. He's sending them out in groups of two or three. He needs to build up at least half dozen before he sends those guys out. And he needs to work a bit more on his economy because he doesn't have a lot. Although there's not exactly a lot of Tiberium left here either. Assimilator is moving around the map. There's no Shredder Tower here, which means he could snare himself. He's going to watch out that Awaken Squad may turn around. He's, he's not going to be watching this. It's almost certain that he's going to lose this technology center here. And whatever this is could be cancelled. No, it's not going to be cancelled. So Beacon comes down. Cyberstorm's like, yep, cool, I grab this. And uh, doesn't like he's going to... Oh, he sells it now. Okay, so then it does give them build radius. Uh, look at this. Assimilators coming down. So uh, Panic obviously took both the spikes. And now Assimilators are responding to reclaim them. So the spike war has begun. And that's going to leave uh, four spikes with Cyberstorm once again. So he's really benefited from this spike war. Avatar is here trying to destroy the technology assembler. And oh no, it's the Redeemer is here as well. So you can probably just destroy that. He doesn't even need to destroy the Warp Chasm because it can't build a Hexapod unless the, uh, the tech center is alive. There's not a lot they can do about that with the Avatar and the Redeemer here. What are they going to... There's Venoms here as well. Oh, the double A turrets come down. The double A turrets, they do come down. He is going to lose that, unfortunately. This is, it is going to go down. He could stealth these two units to get them away, but right now... He's, oh, he's got Tib Core rockets coming in, but Venom's once again being completely fed into these... Uh, and he does snare... Oh, he actually crushes the Avatar, so that was interesting. Uh, but now the, the Redeemer is stuck here. Panic just not quite bringing enough tools with him. And again, once again, just unnecessarily losing some of his units there. And at this stage of the game, you can't afford to lose units like that. It's like you can't give stuff like that away. Um, you need those units. And a few more are coming up now. There's a few buggies coming. Uh, but again, they're not terribly powerful here. Uh, I'm not sure what they're going to do. The Redeemer really can't do too much. If he's got a stealth field, he could use it right now. But... Um, uh, yeah, that, that costs three thousand dollars. That's not exactly cheap. He's turning around. There we go. He uses a stealth field. It does stealth the Redeemer, and it kills a lot. He actually got the the, the disintegrators as well. So that was well done. Is it going to be enough? Though he can't get outside of melee range. He needs to get outside of melee range, and what, he's outside of melee range now. But the disintegrators are just going to force their way into it, and they're going to keep doing that until they can kill the Redeemer. Unfortunately, even though it was a very nice fancy move by Panic, it's not going to matter. And allowing these hammerheads to build up like this, not good at all. Uh, and now he's in a world of pain. Not sure what this is going to be. Yeah, Panic throws it in, so... 
Well, there's a lot we can say about that game. Basically, Death Sentence was down on his luck for a first part of that game, and then Spectre, I, I, got, I just got to point out, Spectre just refused to, to do anything about the Orcas. He just refused. He's like, yep, cool, I know there's Orcas, but I'm not going to build any defense. And he lost, what, eight Harvesters, including the Disintegrator attack, and that really just hit him for six. And then only after all of that damage did he realize he needed to do something about that. That's probably... Panic was probably pretty frustrated. Panic did play a lot of that game solo, but Spectre did very well in the late game in the fact that with the few units he had, he did a lot of damage. And to be honest, the game was there for both sides. They both made some pretty interesting um, choices there, which I'm just like, were a bit confusing. But uh, we saw some engagements we haven't really seen before. Um, it was pretty unique. So 28 minutes, 40 seconds, almost half an hour game there. Cyberstorm got $207,000, which is expected because I think at a minimum he held three spikes uh, all game, and there was a point where he had five of them. Uh, Panic got 164,000, Death got 145, and Spectre got 132. So yeah, definitely the resources was a bit of a problem for the for our other team here. 350,000 to 296. So um, what's that? That's almost $60,000 in favor of the, of the other team, and in almost half an hour game, that is still substantial. That's a lot of money. Uh, for, for these guys here, but yeah, Cyberstorm played a great first half of the game and he, he, he probably played pretty solidly throughout the whole game, uh, to be perfectly honest. He didn't make really any critical errors. Panic uh, did re really well in the, the late game as well, but unfortunately just some silly mistakes at the end. Uh, Spectre, state mistakes at the start. Uh, Death Sentence, he was kind of there and he was able to come back a lot of, for quite some time. But yeah, that was a really good game. I hope you guys all enjoy that. Of course, that was video number 499. So stay tuned to my channel. The big one, number 500, is coming up next. And I cannot wait. It might not be for a while. It might not be for another week or possibly two. But hopefully, I'll have it out by next week. No promises. It's uh, it's about 90% complete. So there's a few touches, a few finishing touches that have to be made. But anyway, I'm Green Zero. Stay tuned to my channel. It's coming up. Video number 500 is going to be next.